the angry black woman situation. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm a black woman. I know how it feels to be the only black woman in so many spaces. That's just kind of normal for us. And I know how it feels to have to try to control your reaction and mm -hmm. and um, and just tiptoe. I just know how how we have to maneuver um, mm -hmm. differently. Um, and she didn't. She called you angry. She didn't call you angry black woman, right? She called you no, angry. Right? She Lula, said you're an angry man. woman. Okay, angry yeah. woman. Was there anything that we did not see in that scene? And I'm asking you this because you guys filmed something for a few hours and then we just see a snippet. So I wanted to know, right. you know, more about anything else happened in that scene. You know, I have to say to the editor's credit, uh, so far, it has been a very accurate depiction. They have not cut anything that I would deem essential. So, okay. yes, obviously, we do. Uh, that scene, they really showed what needed to be shown. Now, obviously, the conversation where the next episode, we're all sitting in the circle in Ramona's and we're going through why it is unacceptable to call a Black woman angry and all of that. A lot was cut from that. Okay. Um, and, and some of what was cut was a conversation we had around white fragility. Because as Ramona said, she had never heard the term. Most of them had not heard the term. And so I was explaining that is not a slur. That is a, an academic term coined right. by a white woman named yeah. Robin D'Angelo addressing um, white hesitation and resistance to having education and dialogue about blackness, frankly. Right. Um, so, you know, it was, it was much more productive than the edit show because we talked for longer. Right. I was, I was a little, it was a little interesting to me that Luann was very offended that she thought you implied that she wasn't educated. Yeah. It was interesting. It was telling, I yeah. think, right? I think it was telling because I think there's so much subtext, right? Yeah. There's so much subtext there that I'm not, I'm, I don't miss shit, you know? And so even though she didn't call me an angry black woman, that is correct. She did not use those words. Right. She didn't have to. I was left with no other conclusion that there is a correlation between me as a black woman and you describing me as angry. And I have to look no further than the discrepancy yeah. of which you calling me angry and Leah cussed y'all out, called y'all hoes and ran the hell out of here. Ramona two seconds ago, before I even, you know, said anything, standing up, beating on the table. I don't like that. Nobody's angry. Yeah. And I mean, so, so we know it's about that. Right. Um, and, and then with the, um, Oh, well, oh, but education, the subtext there to me is there is a presumption as to the hierarchy as to who holds the, the keys to certain um, socio uh, 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 currencies, beauty, yeah. education, wealth, desirability of men. Like, let's talk about it. Yeah. And when there is a standard that says those things exclusively belong or primarily belong to white women and white people, I'm, I'm going to blow it up. Right. And people don't like that disruption of their understanding as to who should be occupying those territories.